this gel polish is very pigmented, so definitely gonna cover up that hot pink. If you're using a non, if you're, if you're using a non um, gel art paint, it's definitely not gonna cover. So you need to use like a, a pigmented gel art paint so it actually covers up, okay? You also have to do multiple layers and you do multiple layers, what's gonna happen is it's gonna be too thick. Right now I'm trying to move the gel. So this is about it. There we go, one down, nine to go. This is Antic's time, guys. You cannot rush this design. I'm probably gonna do one hand and end the live and show you guys what one hand looks like. Cause I'm probably not gonna go through and show you guys the whole, you know, whole shebang there. They're just flames like the same sequence over and over again. You just gotta get the. <laughs> I used to hate doing flames back in the day. Because <laughs> it's so annoying because it's like the way it's work curved. And you see a lot of people that do flames. Even my flames aren't perfect, to be honest with you. Um, a lot of people do flames and it's just like not like a flame look. It kind of looks kind of weird. Um, that's just because it just takes time to actually like get down the actual sequence of the flame. and. You know, it's practice, you know, get yourself some gel art paints and tips and just practice doing flames and you eventually get it. I remember the first time I did flames and I was like, oh, I was just so annoyed. I couldn't get it down. It just pissed me off. It happens to the best of us, trust me. Everybody's gone through their flame phase where they just couldn't do flames. Once you get it, you kind of like, can't understand how it works and it just becomes very easy to be honest with you. I want to make sure I don't want to lose the shape. So I'll make sure that I'm gonna... A lot of you guys probably just agree with me, like cringing, like I hate flames. I know, I did too, don't worry. You're not the only ones. Been there, done that. <laughs> but this has turned out pretty good. <laughs>
That's why you want to finish your set faster because then you'll be able to do the design a lot. You have more time to do the design, right? So I always encourage people to practice their application, make sure they get their sets done quicker. So that means that you have more time to do your design. Then your set don't go into like the three, four hour. I would hate to, I don't think anybody should be doing three, four hour sets to be honest with you. This is way too long. Should I keep the shape here? Tedious work. size make sure the shapes there it's important because I don't want to lose my shape with this Oops, gonna mess that one up. As long as it's not cured, we still have to we can still fix it. The pinky, finish the pinky up real quick. The pinky can be a little bit harder because it's so much smaller. Now they wonder why we charge more for this stuff, right? They come in and ask this clients be like, hey, can we get this? Yeah, sure, that'll be an extra $30, $40. What? Why? Because look at all the work I have to do. That's why. You damn well better, you better, if you can produce the work, you better charge your worth. This ain't no five, $10 design. At least 20, 25 for 10 fingers if they want it like this to make it worth it. For me, maybe $15 a nail, uh, a hand, $30 total.
the last thing of this hand. I'm gonna finish it up, top coat it, and show you guys the final look. Then I'm gonna have to get off the live because I got a client waiting. And I'm gonna finish up the other hand really fast without any interruptions. I actually charge my phone a little bit too. Remember if you do this, the blue has to be a very pigmented blue or else it's not gonna cover up that hot pink and you're gonna see that see-through is not gonna look good. Put enough glue on here and then just drag, 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 drag the pigment through. You don't want too thick either because it'll lose your shape. And the thing about um, the art paint is that it doesn't move. So I can do the whole hand this whole time and it won't, won't budge on me. You use regular drop polish. By the time you're done with one finger, all that polish will probably be all over the place. Lost shape and everything. See, all the ones I did earlier, still there. Now let's go with here. Six hours for a full set, I, I don't see how, I cannot. There's no way, six hours is this, oof. Um, this set is uh, from my own collection. I have six neon, six pastel, They're pretty good. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do it on the nails. Nice and cured. Now we just do a nice top coat. This is my no wipe top coat. Money back guaranteed. Best top coat you're ever gonna use. Very thin, I don't want too much excess because I don't wanna lose my shape. All right, looks nice, huh? <laughs> what are your cousin been doing up to? I don't know. <laughs> Very nice thin coat, so make sure I don't get excess, clean the sides. I wanna go right into the cure for 60 seconds. <clears throat> so this, this top coat, it's like a medium, you see? It's not runny. I don't like taco that's too light and runny because what that happens is when you're painting it, it starts to go into the corners and it gets bubbled up and you lose your shape. 
So like a nice thin coat of a medium consistency like that, it'll definitely give me a nice um shiny coat. And you'll be able to see. Um, so like I told you, anybody doesn't like it, they can send it back. Just pay the shipping, and I'll be able to take it back. It's actually one of the best top coats out there right now. And that's about 60 seconds, and here we are. Nice neon ombre with blue flames. Blue flames. Cuticles, nice. A little bit of cuticle oil. You, actually, it's really pretty. The blue and the hot pink actually really goes well together. There you go. Oh, let me show it this way a little bit better. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to finish up the other hand real quick. And uh, maybe I'll do a Q&A tonight, answer some questions. Those if I missed your questions, I might do a Q&A tonight, and uh, I'll be able to answer some questions then. Look how shiny that top coat is. That's why it's money back guarantee, y'all.